Like all gardeners and DIY landscapers, I often find it necessary to move heavy items and materials, such as bags of mulch, gravel, young trees, and paving stones. Over the years, I've owned a variety of utility cars. Wheelbarrows and hand trucks, all of them have come in handy at times, but to be honest, they take up a good deal of real estate in a too small garage. I figured I had to have all of them to cover all my hauling need bases, though. Then I heard about the WRX Zero Card, an innovative hauling device that literally transforms in order to carry an array of items and materials. It's a car. No, it's a dolly. Wait, now it's a wheelbarrow. The Aero Card is all those and more. But how well does it really work? I tested the 8-in-1 Aero Card along with some optional accessories, a wagon kit, a tub organizer and a firewood hauler. Keep watching to learn both the pros and cons of this multi-purpose hauling helper and find out whether it's a worthwhile investment for the average dyer. What is the WRX Zero Car? When I first heard about the WRX Zero Car, I was slightly skeptical. It was advertised as an 8-in-1 cart that transforms from a yard cart into multiple other hauling type tools. In my experience, Transforming type carriers are typically weaker at their moving points such as hinges and swivel supports. I'm happy to report I was wrong when it comes to the WRX Zero Car to transform more efficiently than I expected, and it offered a good deal of hauling assistance. I tested all of its advertised functions. The basic car comes with a cylinder support for moving large buckets or even a heavy propane tank, a bag holder that holds open the top of a disposable lawn bag for filling with leaves or debris, a harness for moving heavy pods, and a mesh support for moving landscape rocks. How easy is the WRX Zero Card to assemble? The WRX Zero Card is not difficult to assemble, but I would have appreciated better instructions. Images are printed on one side of the instruction sheet, and the details are printed on the other side. I found myself repeatedly flipping back and forth between the two. All items required for assembly nuts, bolts, and the like were included, as was a wrench for securing them. That was a big plus. It took me about 20 minutes to assemble the Aero Card including the extra accessories, and learn how it transformed from one type of hauler to another. Is the WRX Aero Card easy to use? Overall, the Aero Card is pretty simple to use, although learning to adjust its optional support legs, which are attached to its wheelbase, took some practice. When the support legs are folded down, the wheels lock in position beneath the hauling bin and the Aero Card becomes a two-wheel wheelbarrow. How comfortable is the WRX Aero Car to use? The manufacturer says the Aero Car will make hauling 200 pounds feel like you're moving just 17 pounds in either dolly or wheelbarrow mode. I had no way of verifying that claim, but it sounds reasonably accurate. I loaded up the cart with heavy cinder bricks, firewood, and other materials, and it was always simple to maneuver. Will the WRX Zero Car withstand common hauling tasks? The ability to handle multiple everyday hauling tasks is where the WRX Zero Car shines. Previously, I've struggled to lift heavy pots and place them on a dolly platform to push them to a different location. While that works, it's challenging to lift the pots on and off the platform. With the Aero Car, there was no need to do that. Is the WRX Aero Car worth the cost? The WRX Aero Car sells for $229 from the manufacturer and for $179.99 on Amazon and a tractor supply company in my opinion. It's worth the lower price if you need a single carrier that can perform multiple hauling tasks. It takes up about the same amount of storage space as a traditional dolly when positioned against a garage wall, so it's a space saver. However, at $179.99, it's a bit on the pricey side if you use only one of its functions. It becomes more cost-effective when it replaces a separate dolly and wheelbarrow and if you use its full set of transforming functions. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.